About three or four years ago, I went to Monticello um, with my dad and I really, really got interested in history uh, at Monticello, uh, seeing Thomas Jefferson's home and inventions. I like history because it's something that's already happened. I don't like fiction. I mean, I like non-fiction, things that did happen and things that we can learn from. My favorite times is probably the revolution and kind of around the War of 1812. That's the way it was in 1863. It's about a boy during the Civil War telling his perspective of what happened in it. As how to make a Brunswick stew, how to load and fire a musket, and how to make a Civil War encampment. It's, it's, it's really interesting because of uh, the music aspect of it. You know, you have all the the Civil War music and some of the music my dad and I wrote. We were in Nashville and at the Grand Ole Opry and backstage they had all these fiddle players playing and I was like, man, this is, this is awesome. I want to play the fiddle. So I decided I wanted to play the fiddle. And then we took lessons and then now I'm taking it at LSU. And I uh, really enjoy it. I think the violin's my favorite instrument. I just like that uh, tone. The banjo, I like it because of Earl Scruggs and bluegrass, and uh, I like it because you can make it sound happy or sad or glad or kind of melancholy. And then the bagpipes I play, which is good and loud. I like it because it's uh, it's kind of a, it's a haunting sound, and then it can be a really 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 happy you know get up and dance Scottish dancing, and uh, you know the kilts and haggis and everything, and I like that because of uh, you know the sound it's kind of haunting, and uh, there's no other instrument like it. It's kind of hard to explain what it's like to play an instrument, but uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun. It's it's almost like, you know, you got a friend, and you can make that friend angry, sad, mad, happy, whatever you want it. When I first started performing, I was a little fr afraid, just kind of shy, because I didn't really know the songs that great. Uh, but now I, I I love getting up on stage. I'm not really afraid of anything. If if there was a chance, I could probably play in front of 500,000 people. And I I think I'm thinking like that. I'm just in my room playing. So I don't really mind any pe people. Well, I hope I would really love to uh, uh, maybe go to college at William and Mary, or do uh, maybe do a sem semester in Oxford. And um, I would like to also maybe do a part-time job, or maybe when I'm younger, um, uh, work in Williamsburg as the Revolutionary City, and do the acting as you know Patrick Henry and. George Washington, Peyton Randolph, all of them, and uh, Captain James Ennis, actually. Um, and uh, they're on the streets, and they do the acting, and they'll get into character, and they never get out of character. And I, I'd also like, maybe for another goal, maybe being the governor of Virginia. Because, I mean, that, that would be really, really, really cool to be in the line of governors, all the way back to Patrick Henry and Thomas Jefferson. Yeah.